guys, it's Rachel. Back at it again with the video. Can I sound any more like a YouTuber? Today I'm gonna be reading some of my emo poetry from a time when I just read a little bit too much in a 21 pilot songs and wanted to put my own spin on what it really, ooh, that was magic. What it really means to exist. What it really takes to inspire humanity and make a difference. Some of the things I wrote down are just kind of vague, over-the-top metaphorical, and we're gonna delve into that right now. It's been a lonely day, ruined by you. Like a slap in the face at the very sight of you. This one's actually a song that I kind of came up with. I just wanted to put this in here because look at this line right here. This is from August 6, 2015, from a time when lit wasn't even used by most people. I basically came up with the term. I was 14 when I wrote this. It's Google really fast, like when lit became a thing. So, uh, August 2015, that's just before it became popular. So basically, I'm part of the movement. I made it popular. I made lit what it is now. Let's take a look at the rest of the lyrics and see if there's anything worth investing our time into here. Oh, how did I get here? I actually remember how the song goes. Uh, uh. that I wrote when I was 14, you know, crazy times. Let's get on with the regular programming. I'm all right, I forgive. Oh, this was actually also a song that I wrote. From the lyrics here, it, it was right here, right by my side. I didn't know what I would do if you were gone. This is your song. I've been looking for you everywhere, but I turn around in the middle of nowhere. I just want to say how much I miss you, my everything. Guess what the song is about? It's about my phone. <laughs> I lost my phone in grade nine or freshman year for you American folks. I wrote a song and I intentionally made it sound like a love song so that whenever I sing it to people, they'll be like, oh my God, Rachel has a love life. She's so awesome. She's so great. I want to be like her. All that sorts of regular stuff. Like, do you see here? I miss your teddy bear. I had a freaking teddy bear phone case on. I promise I won't leave you alone in the bed again. Let's keep going. I had faith in 2013 and Making it big seemed. Absolutely. Literary gold right here. His pretty, uh, oh, this one's actually also a song. I actually don't get into sort of an emo poetry phase until like around March of 2017, cause that, that's when I was really sad. I know it's only last year, but this is actually nice. I'm vibing with this right now. This is also a song I wanted this to be like Green Day and the song is actually about Chris Evans. So here we go. His pretty eyes are looking at me as my heart secretly explodes. Green Day who? Here we go, the, the juice. The reason why we're all here today. The emo poetry. So this is August 8th, 2016, when I wanted to be exactly like 21 Pilots. I remember sending this to my friend and being like, hey, look at me, I'm a poet. Do you see how good this is? Like how poetic, how many metaphors? Sometimes I wonder why. I'm singled out. All my friends are beloved with the flower, crowns on their heads. I'm laughing with them, watching in a distance. <laughs> I put on a plastic suit and a new mask. Lit. I put on a plastic suit and a new masked expression. Starting a new day with someone old. My skin is exposed burning with the mannequin walks by and dumps the acid on my face. <laughs> like it starts out with, aw oh, geez, sometimes I wonder why I'm singled out and it goes all the way to my skin is burning with the mannequin walks by and dumps the freaking acid. And what does mannequin stand for here? It's like one of those. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? This one's called There's No Demon. Pulling the window sideways, revealing the dead silence of the 
There's someone creeping around. My eyes open, darting across the room. I think of the burden of my imaginary evidence. <laughs> it's white, what's white? Like a statue. My eyes that are open, the someone creeping around, the, the burden of my imaginary evidence. Oh, I think the burden of my imaginary evidence literally just means I'm being paranoid. Like you're imagining things, it's a burden on your mind. Oh, it's dark and your windows are open, but there's no one in your dead neighborhood, <laughs> but you're, you're just picturing things. Uh, metaphors are interesting. That's all I can say on the matter. Don't you wish you can go back to that simpler time? I like how scientific this is. Your goals are far off, but achievable in your point of view. Oh, it's golden hour outside. I want to go outside. Can we go back to a simpler? A simpler time where innocence is two-dimensional. Okay, hold, hold on. Was I trying to say a time when I was innocent? Because I could have just gone with a simpler time. Or a time when I was innocent or a time when my mind was two-dimensional something like that That's a stupid way of putting it, but this is just so redundant Ooh! <laughs> Simply time where your left side was amputated get it cuz you're all right <laughs> Okay, so this one's from December 12th 2016. So basically Christmas. I only stay up until 2 a.m. talking to my friends because I know that I will never be that close with someone again. That's freaking depressing. Friendship is my biggest value. Yet when I picture myself in the future, I am always alone. Holy crap. I hope none of my friends are watching this right now. Moments are slipping from my lips and sadly no one treasures time. Is this just saying that no one listens to me when I'm talking? The words that are coming out of my mouth, the moments, is time and no one treasures time. So I'm just rambling about things and no one's just listening to me. <laughs> I'm just writing, moments are slipping from my lips. <laughs> Sometimes I think I should stop abusing this beat. Listening to a song on loop, <laughs> sweat it is. Afternoon sky. I wrote it on a sky train ride home and I was like the whole time I was just like, oh my god, I'm sitting on a sky train and I'm writing poetry like how much more aesthetic this is get. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Those soft gray colors complementing the rose gold sunset stretched out just enough to cover the deep horizon. Even though the sun, like a diamond, really original there. Or maybe a police's flashlight shining into your eye. Like a clear-cut society without focus. What is a clear-cut society? Those soft gray colors. Okay, I get it. Soft gray colors. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> For the busy and the alone, finding themselves drift away from the ground. From the ground. Those soft gray colors with hints of orange and pink. When are they gonna burst? This is making me think about things a little bit. Like, oh my God. Am I getting separated from the rest of society? I like how there's just so many unnecessary adjectives here. Like I remember my teacher confronting me being like, hey, they literally don't add to anything. Uncomfortable enthusiasm. What does that mean? Anyway, let's move on. Only the mind and hunger kills. Yeah, like, Illnesses, car accidents, war, no, 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 none of that. Only the mind and hunger kills. <laughs> Wait, but wars are instigated by conflict and competition for resources? It's funny, dependence is never absolute, except that the mind depends on the body. Okay, what is this about the mind? <laughs> I've mentioned the mind like a thousand times in all my poems. The road doesn't depend on us to drive on. I mean, that is true. <laughs> I like this one. Nice little relatable moment here, you know, casually singing in your basement on a Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone does that. Hashtag TBT. I sleep sideways so I know what's in front of me. I sleep sideways to avoid sleep. The ghosts of my past always follow me. Okay, that's wrong grammar here. It's supposed to be follows me. Past Rachel, take notes. I miss out on beautiful things like sunrises when I restore my energy. Okay, well, I think I just didn't want to use the word sleep. I was just like trying to come up with like, oh, but it's a creative way to say sleep. How about just say take a fat nap? 
I miss out on beautiful things like sunrises when I'm taking a freaking fat nap. All right, guys, that's enough emo for the day. So I think there's no one golfing right now. At least I don't, I don't see anyone, so I'm back out here. I'm gonna do the outro here. Like the, that was just a wind. Make sure you like and subscribe, you know, for some good aesthetic videos. Subscribe, like, subscribe, whatever.